Hello, my name is Steve Bowler, and in this video we're going to be taking a look at OSPF. Uh, specifically within OSPF we're going to be taking a look at the different um, area types such as uh, stub, not so stubby area, totally stubby area, not so stubby, totally stubby. Uh, a lot of this can sound confusing and very um, very strange at first but you know when you break down the area types and you actually see you know the LSA filtering that OSPF is doing you know with the different types of areas then it becomes um, a little more uh, easier to approach and to take a look at so uh, what I'm going to show you in this lab is you know the area types and what we're going to do as you can see here we're going to go ahead and configure you know all these routers we have five routers for this lab um, we have router 10 and router 1 are both in area 10 uh, they're going to have their fast ethernet link in area 10 router 1 and 2 are going to be in area 0 so they're going to be the backbone uh, over here we have router 2 and router 3 and they are both going to be part of area 23 and what I'm going to do too is I'm going to run uh, RIP version 2 on router 3 and router 4 and then I'm going to redistribute the RIP routes into OSPF and then we're going to be performing a special type of um, area type which is known as the not so stubby area so we're going to take a look at you know all these different area types we're going to break them down make them understandable and approachable so that you know you can get a better understanding of how they work and exactly what type of OSPF LSAs will we will be filtering and why we are trying to filter them so again most of the reason why we're doing LSA filtering with the area types is we're just bur you know um, uh, you know we're trying to relax the burden of the you know the OSPF you know updates and the link state database and you know uh, the CPU on the router so we're just trying to get rid of you know um, LSA types that don't need to be flooded into the OSPF area so let's go ahead and get it uh, busy here let's go ahead and get into uh, uh, router 10 I guess we'll go into first here we'll go ahead and configure this from scratch so I've been meaning to do this lab for a long time I've had a lot of requests for people you know to do this and I'm just now getting into it I've been pretty busy you know studying everything but uh, I'm trying to make some time in you know the day and in the week to you know do a couple labs so uh, what we're going to do is go into interface fast unit 00 again in this OSPF lab we're all we're just using broadcast links here so uh, you know we're just going to keep the media type pretty simple you know the network type you know it's just going to be you know uh, broadcast multi-access so we're not going to be doing anything you know uh, tricky here uh, you know, with like non-broadcast, multi-access, 